we talk about sustainability, we talk as though it's the significant ones of investment, this huge effort, this massive set of interventions, or this grand end destination. We talk as though once we've arrived, we're finally done and we can now relax. That this product is sustainable, that this place is eco, that this building is green, that this experience is eco-friendly, that this person lives sustainably, and so on. But sustainability has over 300 academic definitions. Trying to agree on what that destination could, should, or would mean is close to impossible. Just as humans and technology have evolved, so have the goalposts of awareness and sustainability. The work I do as a sustainability and green building consultant, I approach sustainability as a journey, one with a starting point and with milestones, but no final grandiose goal or endpoint. It isn't a new or revolutionary idea, but it is greatly overlooked when it comes to sustainability in business, buildings or products. Perhaps that's because we've become accustomed to quick wins, instant messaging, social media and instant gratification. Or perhaps because we struggle when challenges become too complex. The current state of marketing certainly works in this way, in that it seeks to deflect, oversimplify messaging and overstate achievements while sweeping complexities, challenges or shortcomings or even transgressions firmly under the rug. But sustainability is a beautiful and complex topic with multiple facets. There simply is no way around that. Consider our current paradigm and the system that we live in. I mean, a system where killing of ecosystems is not considered a crime. A system where it is considered good and logical sense to pursue infinite economic growth on a planet with finite resources. So a sustainability journey in a system like that, when done right and with authenticity, is a magnanimous task. One that needs a complete shift in thinking. One that requires steps to be taken one at a time, and one that needs to become increasingly part of the fabric of each organization's values and operations. This mindset, I believe, achieves real success and impact in sustainability. It results in an ecosystem of sustainable business operations, which I have had the privilege to see in some of the key projects that I've been working on in my career. One of my very first projects was Hotel Verdi Cape Town, an airport hotel in Cape Town, South Africa, known as one of the most sustainable hotels in the world. Another is a completely different kind of project, Equator, a belt factory in Durban, South Africa, which has been overhauling every aspect of their business over time. These two projects and their vast differences are proof that the notion of a sustainability journey can be embraced by every kind of organization. Sure, there are challenges, but the victories and positive effects far outweigh these challenges. For Hotel Verdi, the mandate was clear. Deliver Africa's greenest hotel while proving that luxury and sustainability are not mutually exclusive. Sustainability would be interwoven into every aspect of the planning, design, construction, and now the operations. The resulting sustainability credentials of this project are holistic and far-reaching, unfortunately far too long for today's talk. It has to be noted, though, that distinct and measurable achievements were made. Some of these include that the hotel is running 60% more efficient than a comparable hotel in Cape Town as a result of the passive design interventions, behavior change, efficient technologies and renewable energy systems. The hotel also uses water efficient equipment and, and fittings and doesn't require any drinking water for flushing toilets. As a result, it's now operating about 50% more efficient than its benchmarks. By reclassifying waste, introducing minimization strategies and uh, alternative procurement practices, plus the effective waste management procedures in place, results in waste diversions from landfill of above 90% all while having much less waste to begin with. The hotel also offers a carbon neutral guest experience by offsetting the remaining impact through a credible and verified carbon offsetting scheme. One would think that the entire green budget would be excessive. However, it only represented about 10.8% of the total development budget. The utility savings, the PR exposure, the guest and staff satisfaction, the increased demand and return guest portfolio 
coupled with the increased productivity of staff, have made the return on investment, while not entirely quantifiable, certainly worth the while. For example, the free measurable press exposure has exceeded the green budget in year one alone. Equator the Bell Factory, on the other hand, was already on its own path for just short of 20 years. They clearly deeply cared and treated its employees well, but they might have been lacking cognizance of environmental sustainability until the owner decided to turn things around. He was going through some personal transformation, but perhaps even more so, his young children started asking about the sustainability and the company's impact. He wanted to own and run a business that they could be proud of. And so my company, Ecolution Consulting, was tasked with creating a detailed sustainability journey and strategy, and then to facilitate working towards a green building certification as the first step. Now, the factory is the first manufacturer in the South African fashion supply chain to achieve a Green Star South Africa certification from the local Green Building Council. It's been a really exciting project to work on because this client has fully embraced the journey concept of sustainability. Now they are moving into the next phase, focusing more deeply on raw materials, packaging and distribution, while transparently communicating the achievement and struggles along the way. The most important takeaway here is that the journey doesn't have to start from the beginning. It has to start when there's a sincere desire and drive to implement meaningful change. And when I say there is no final destination to sustainability, it doesn't mean there shouldn't be guiding principles, milestones or goals. Even if those goals seem far off and somewhat insurmountable, breaking them up into manageable tasks and embedding ever increasing steps of change is proving to be the most effective strategy for quick wins and also cumulative, meaningful, long-term impact. For example, at Equator, they are using circular economy and carbon neutrality as their guiding principles. Both goals are still years away, but they already inform decisions and interventions today. So how do leaders practically adopt sustainability practices along their journey? We recommend a nine-step approach. One, Adjust your thinking to always consider sustainability in all decisions made. Two, work with experts that know what they're talking about and have experience in this matter. Three, engage with existing frameworks such as the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, Green Building Frameworks, and other proven frameworks. Four, create a sustainability journey, framework, and set of goals that are specific to your business. Five, communicate sustainability internally to all stakeholders. Six, audit, evaluate, track and report so that you're always on top of what is happening within your business and you can track progress. Seven, deeply engage with your employees, upskill them through workshops, training and committees. Eight, transparently communicate sustainability externally to the media, clients uh, and other external stakeholders. And finally, nine, repeat while you optimize and innovate at every iteration. Along the way, the rewards and benefits are real and tangible. From improved risk management to operational savings, a competitive advantage, better returns and employee satisfaction, the list is endless really. And of course, if more and more businesses and organizations get on board, the collaboration is real and impactful. Perhaps we can even achieve a livable planet. Isn't that something we should all aspire and work towards? Mm -hmm.